Hi, everybody. Welcome to episode 14 of In My Plant-Based Kitchen. I am Emma Lebezerot. I'm a registered holistic nutritionist, a certified plant-based chef. And it's that day of the week again where I invite you into my kitchen to see what's cooking, to see what's going on. And what's going on this week is that I am preparing for a trip um, to Malta. And um, so I'm going to be doing some on, <laughs> hopefully, as long as I can figure out the tech, um, which I think I have, but we'll see. <laughs> um, I am going to do some in my plant-based kitchen episodes on the road um, with my husband, Max. So you'll probably get to meet him. And, uh, but today what is happening in my kitchen is I'm getting ready for the trip. And when I am preparing for a um, extended trip, because I'll be gone for a month, I, you know, I do, I've learned over the years that there are some things that make traveling as a vegan, as a healthy plant-based eater, a lot, a lot easier and a lot more um, fun and less frustrating, I guess I should say. So we are going to be staying in Airbnbs um, throughout our trip. So we, we book places with kitchens. I love shopping at the local markets, experiencing the local foods, but I mean, I, like most people probably, um, it gets pretty tiring eating out in restaurants that's are not the healthiest thing. So you don't feel great if you're doing that all the time. So we really like booking places where that have it has that have kitchens so that we can um, make our own foods, uh, uh, meals and have some of our own food um, nearby. I'm sure there are uh, plenty of places to get um, healthy plant-based foods in Malta. And I've looked up a dense research with um, Happy Cow and which is a travel website. If you don't know about it, definitely look it up. It's an app and um, they have a website where you can put in the place you're going and it will tell you what vegan and vegetarian options are close by. It's a fantastic resource. Um, and um, but I still, there are a few things that I want to share with you, a few tips and recipes that I want to share with you that things that I do um, that really help to make um, our meals still really healthy and tasty while we're away. Takes a few minutes of preparation before. And these are actually things that I do at home anyway um, to just make my life easier as, as, as we go. So you might be able to see I'm going to turn the camera here. I have got a huge collection, a big collection of spices here. And so what I like to do is I like to take, because one of the things I find really hard, I love cooking with spices. I cook with a lot of herbs and spices um, on a daily basis. And I find when we go away, if we're, you know, going and gathering the in ingredients for things, say I want to make a tofu, tofu scramble, for example, easy to get the tofu and mushrooms and peppers or whatever ever else you like putting in your scramble. But when I, it comes to the spice mix, the spice mix that I normally use for my tofu scramble has about 10 spices in it. And what I've done in the past, I've just gone with some garam masala or some curry powder or something like that, which is fine. But um, I find that there are probably three spice mix profiles that I use for many dishes from pasta to curries to scrambles to uh, bowl type recipes, roasting vegetables. With these three spice mixes, you can pretty much um, cover the, the um, spectrum of dishes and they just add, as we know, spices add a, a boost of nutrition to our um, diets as well as, of course, flavor. So that is one thing that I do. So today I'm gonna um, provide three recipes for you uh, for spice mixes. One of them is a tandoori spice mix. One of them is a Mexican spice mix. And one of them is an Italian spice mix. And I have a little shortcut with the Italian, but I'll tell you about that in a second. So let's make, I wanna just show you um, what is in, in, for example, the tandoori spice mix. So you can see, I've got a jar here. I probably won't take this jar, it's quite big, but this is the jar I usually use to keep my tandoori spice mix in. And the reason I do that is because when I'm cooking at night and I, again, I, okay, I'm gonna take a, I'm gonna make a curry for dinner. Um, and this is often when I'm cooking without recipes. 
I want a tandoori flavor, say, for example, with a pandoori tofu um, dish that I might be making, I don't have to pull out 10 spices and put a teaspoon of each of them in. I can, or however much, I can just pull out this spice mix and um, go to town with it. And I know the proportions are about right. And it's just so much, it, it sounds silly, but it's it's a quite a time-saving tip. And I use it, I, I do it all the time in my own kitchen. And at, when I'm traveling, I love to have these spice mixes available because it just makes things better. Um, so we're gonna start out with two teaspoons of ground ginger. And when you're traveling, you just don't want to buy a whole bunch and lug a whole bunch of spices around, but I personally really mix miss them if I don't have them available to me. So two teaspoons of ground ginger, um, two teaspoons of ground coriander. So this is, um, I normally buy my spices whole and mix them or um, actually that's probably pretty much all the coriander. So I could use that here, I might do that um, at the end. Um, what was I gonna say? I usually, grind my spices as I go because it just keeps them so much fresher and that's a good example I had I just um had ground up a bit of coriander and put that in there and this is another example the cumin um so we need half a teaspoon of ground cumin so this is whole from my and and I just grind it up and do a, a bit at a time and oh smell up from the spices already it's so it's so um aromatic it's lovely Okay, we need a teaspoon of paprika. And I sort of am very interchangeable with smoked paprika and paprika. They are very, they are quite quite different, but I have smoked paprika, so I'm gonna use that. You can use either. And if some people don't love the taste of smoked paprika, so they might, um, regular paprika is a little bit sweeter, not as strong. So that's an option to try if you're not crazy about smoked paprika. A teaspoon of garlic powder. As you can tell, we use a lot of garlic powder. I get a big bunch. I don't recommend buying um, spices normally in really large amounts unless you know you're going to use them up within a few months. And for us, garlic powder is a staple. So a teaspoon of that. When I'm doing these at home, I'll know that I normally make these spice mixes and double them because we go through them very quickly. But of course, traveling, I don't want to carry um, huge amounts of anything. I'm going to use minced um, onion flakes instead of, um, instead of onion powder, but you can do either. And um, this, of course, maybe goes without saying is customizable. If there's something in that you're allergic to or you don't like, swap it out for something else or just leave it out altogether. Um, we're gonna put in half a teaspoon of sea salt. I like including the salt in my spice, spice mixes um, because then you don't have to worry about the salt either. So that's really a nice thing. Um, if you're on a salt-free or a low-salt diet, one of the things that you could think about adding instead is um, table tasty. don't know if you've come across that, but um, I can provide more information about that below, but it is a wonderful salt alternative. It's the best one that I found that actually tastes a little bit salty, but there's no salt in it. It's all natural ingredients, really, really great product. You can only order it online as far as I know. Um, so, and I'm not... Again, I always feel like I have to say when I when I when I suggest something, I don't make any money from that. It's just a um a resource that I like to share with people because there are often people on um, low salt or no salt diet. So it's a really good alternative. And turmeric, a teaspoon of ground turmeric. We know how beneficial from last week it is to add turmeric into your diet regularly. So I'd want to make sure I'm not missing out on that totally while I'm traveling. And um, finally, a little bit of cayenne pepper if you're very sensitive to heat. Um, this is a half a teaspoon, so you might want to cut that down or leave it out altogether, up to you. So you can see this makes about probably a third of a cup or so, and then you just shake it all up. Like I said, when I do it at home, I probably do it, I do it so I have about half this jar at a time, so probably two or three times the the recipe that I'm going to be sharing with you. 
and then you're good to go. And this, I think, I probably won't try putting it in there right now, but we'll take this um, container with us sealed in a plastic bag in case something happens. I don't want all my clothes to smell like um, curry, curry or um, or any kind of spices. So um, important to pack it properly. The next one is the Mexican spice mix. And I already have that made up, so I'm not going to go ahead and make that again. But basically what that's got, it's the same idea. What that's got in it is chili powder, onion powder, garlic powder, smoked paprika, some sea salt, some unrefined coconut sugar or date sugar, um, definitely better sugars. That sweetness in a Mexican spice mix is, is sort of um, usual. So um, I like to I like to put it in. Also a teaspoon of dried oregano, but if you are you know, watching the sugar in your diet, these are better sugars, but they're still sugar. So you can also leave that out. Sorry, back to the oregano and then some pet black pepper. I will share this recipe as well below and um, in the um, on my blog this week, and I'll put the rest of the link to that. Italian spice mix, again, same idea, just mix it up, put it in a jar, except that what's in it is basil, oregano, garlic powder, dried thyme, rosemary, and marjoram. And I love this. You might be able to tell because I have a lot of it, and I've had this, probably gone through this in a, maybe a month. I use this a lot for, for um, spaghetti sauces, um, to do roasted vegetables, to um, add, add it to almost everything. Um, one of the benefits of adding so many spices and herbs to your food is that you don't need so much salt. It's a really good way to kind of cut down on the salt in your, in your, in your diet because it's adding so much flavor and it helps to add nutrition and so on and so forth. There are no downsides. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a jar of this. I don't really need to mix up all those herbs separately. And to be honest, I don't know if I even have all of them right now. I dry them from my garden often, so I might have some of those. But I'm going to take just some of that, and I'm just going to add some, a bit of garlic powder. And then I will be all set to go for my Italian or Mediterranean type dishes. And think about a teaspoon, it will be good. And then once I have a lid, which I don't right now, I'll mix that all up and that one will be ready to go. So I will have this jar and this jar and another jar this size. Um, and I've got three amazing spice mixes to use while I'm cooking on the road, which you will probably see me using. Um, the next thing, I like to take is a superfood mix. And again, this is something I do all the time. And you'll see that that's true because I'm going to use the end of the one that I have on the go right now. I change this up all the time, but I'm going to share one of my favorite varieties with you in the recipe. So I'm just going to go ahead and add, I'm actually going to take that this in the smaller jar. So I'm just going to add what I've got here. Right now I've got some hemp seeds and pecans. It looks like a bit of coconut. And I don't know what else is in there at the moment, but I'm going to add some other things. I'm going to add um, a couple of tablespoons of ground flax seed. Important to get into your diet every day. You know what? This isn't all going to fit in here. I'm now seeing. So maybe I'll put it back into this jar. Easier to mix it up too. So flax seed that I've just ground up. I don't like to buy it ground because... It's very sensitive to light, heat, and air. Can go rancid quickly. So um, I like to do the grinding as I go. Again, whenever you can do that, it makes things a lot easier. A couple of tablespoons of pumpkin seeds, which is gonna finish off my pumpkin seed jar. A couple of tablespoons of chia seeds. So you can see these are all your, your seeds that are rich in um, essential fatty acids. So this, what I do with this spice mix or this superfood mix is what I call it is I usually use it on my breakfast. So on oatmeal, um, if I'm having cereal, which I hardly ever have cereal, I usually have oatmeal or granola maybe. Um, I sometimes put it over yogurt and fruit, even on salad. Um, it's really nice too. I don't have any goji berries, which is what is in the recipe, but I do have some goji berry powder and 
Goji berry powder is incredibly high in um, antioxidants. So this is a great thing to add to your superfood mix. I really like this goji berry powder. Try not to use that same garlic spoon. <laughs> Quarters. Can you use about a teaspoon and a half there? What else do I have in here? Walnuts. A couple of tablespoons of walnuts. Again, I think I'll probably mix this up and then put it back into that smaller jar because I don't want to fill my suitcase completely with food things. We're taking backpacks, so we're not going to be able to don't have a lot of extra uh, room. And then I'm also going to add a little bit of amla berry powder, which is really high in vitamin C. Again, a really powerful antioxidant. This one has a bit of a funny flavor. So I like mixing it in with other things. And if you don't, um, you know, you can't really taste it when it's in there. So um, that's a good way to get it in. Okay, mix it, mix it, mix it. And then I am ready to go with my healthy breakfast, my healthy so important to, to make sure you're getting um, those nutritious foods, of course, every day, but when you're traveling, because your body is under a little, little bit more stress, you're exposed to, we're going to be on a plane for nine hours, we're going to be exposed to people with colds and who knows what else. And um, so it's really important to make sure you're making sure you're giving your body what it needs to, to stay healthy so that you can enjoy your trip. All right, so that. There's our superfood mix that we're going to take. So we've got our all our goodies here ready to go. Um, I just have to transfer this other spice mix in here and forgot to get my Mexican spice mix out. So we'll get that out too. The other thing I'm going to take is the granola bars I made a rest couple of um, episodes ago. So we're going to take some of those snacks for the plane. I'm going to make sure I have my the vitamins that I take on a daily basis, vitamin B, B12. I'm sure they have them in Malta, but I like to have the ones that I'm used to, my the ones my body's used to. And then the other thing, this is sort of off the, a little bit off the topic maybe, but um, I'm taking a SteriPen with me this time because um, in the um, research I've done, I found that it's recommended to buy bottled, bottled water in Malta. And I cannot stand all the plastic of a bottled waters, wa water. So we're going to take um, a regular water container and our SteriPen, which you stir it around and it gets rid of all the bacteria and whatever else. So um, those are my essentials that I'm going to be taking with us. I'm so excited. We're really looking forward to this trip and I'm excited to take you along for the journey, hopefully to some markets and show you some of the kitchens that we're um, cooking in and show you how we do it and um, how it, it's very, we just keep it really, really simple, to be honest. Um, the other thing we're going to be taking on the plane is a lot of fruit. Um, quick, quick things, probably make up a couple of wraps or something like that. Have lots of water, have some tea bags on hand so that we can have the, the things that we like. And um, yeah, so... Um, I think that's it for today. I just want to make sure I think I've mentioned everything. Um, so that's it for today. I will be, I will not be sending out my newsletter while I'm gone. Um, so if you're subscribed to the newsletter, you won't receive a newsletter for a few weeks. So please check back to the YouTube channel if you are interested in following us along on our Malta travels. And we'll be in Paris for the last week as well. So it'll be Malta and Paris. And um be, uh, in my plant-based kitchen on the road and um yeah so have have a have a wonderful week and we will see you soon